my name is Mommy Itamochi with West Virginia International School. And then I have one question from one of my students from Saturday Japanese School. Okay. Um, he is seventh grade um, at our school, at Saturday School, and then seventh grade at the Hargit Middle School. Um, he would like to know, his name is Rintaro, he would like to know um, whether you would like to live in Japan, and then if so, why? Okay. If you can answer. Sure, I was uh, fortunate enough to, uh, with their team to uh, travel to uh, three cities and mm -hmm. uh, each one was a little different than mm -hmm. the other one, Nagoya, Kyoto, and uh, Tokyo. And each one was a little different, but one of the common threads that I did find was all the people were the same. They were very friendly, mm -hmm. they were very helpful, and that's important when you mm -hmm. travel in a foreign country. So, you know, I'm not sure that you could pick one over the other mm -hmm. because they're all different, but the people are all the same and they're very uh, kind, considerate individuals. Very good. And then his other question that he wanted to ask you is, um, what kind of Japanese food you like? <laughs> yes. Well, I guess uh, if uh, you were to say that uh, if you got a hamburger in Toyota uh, in, in uh, Tokyo, mm -hmm. would that be a Japanese hamburger? Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, uh, well, it but, could be Japanese hamburger. Yeah, there, yes. there, there's a lot of uh, really good Japanese mm -hmm. food. Uh, the tempura I like. Yes, uh, tempura uh, was very good. Uh, that was good. Uh, there, Japan is very famous for their uh, Colby steaks mm -hmm. and uh, their mm -hmm. Colby beef. But uh, yeah, it's an experience to try a new part of our cultures. <laughs> Food, it's always very different from mm -hmm. what you have at home, but mm -hmm. uh, you know, there are certain things that I liked a lot and certain things that uh, I liked less. <laughs> yes, I understand. Yeah.